Hi there, it's Beth again. This time we're going to be talking about an activity that you can do to go, that goes along with the book, Have You Thanked an Adventure Today? by Patrice McLaurin. One thing that is stressed in this story is the fact that we can all be inventors. And what you can do is in the description portion of this video, go ahead and download and print off the handout that we have, the one that looks like this, and you'll be ready to participate in your own, creating your own inventions. So at the end of the book, she challenges you to think like an inventor. So the very first thing you're going to do, going along with your sheet here, is think about some problems that exist. So these could be anything at home or at school. So any kind of, so inventors think first, how do I solve a problem? So you need to start thinking, what are some problems that you can think of that you have or that family members have at home or friends have or the teacher has there at school? Now, one thing I can think about that is a problem in my house is that whenever we do the laundry, we wash it, we dry it, but then when it comes to folding it and putting it away, people don't want to do that. So we usually have baskets of clean laundry that just kind of hang out for several days before they finally get folded and put away. So if I were to fill out my paper here, that would be the problem that I might think of in my own household. The fact that no one wants to fold the laundry and put it away. So the next step here is once you've identified some problems, what are some inventions you could think of to solve those problems? So maybe you thought of multiple problems or maybe you just thought of one. If that's the case, then focus on that one problem. What would be an invention that would help make life better or more interesting or more fun? Because we can make fun inventions as well. And the last step is brainstorm what kind of materials would you need in order to create that invention and then go ahead and sketch it. Another fun step would also be to take some items that you have lying around, some uh, boxes, food containers, if you have string or yarn or chenille stems or any craft sticks, anything that you have or cardboard tubes, start putting them together and make your invention. Does it have to work necessarily? No, you don't need to necessarily put a motor in it and make everything work, but at least get the idea and the shape down. What would it look like? How would that invention work? Come along and I'll show you my folding invention, just to show you an example of what I was thinking. So this is my idea for my folding machine. As you see, I've taken a food container, I've got a couple of craft sticks, and I took a piece of felt and cut it out into the shape of a shirt to show how this would work. So the first step of my folding machine with these sticks would be like rollers. And one side would roll over the sh half the shirt and fold it over. And then the other roller would come over and roll the other side and fold that half over. And then finally, I would have another Part that would press everything down. And then this part would scoop my shirt right off the table and into a waiting laundry basket. And that is how I think I would create my folding machine. What do you think? Do you like that idea? So what will you invent? It's your turn. Go ahead and gather some materials brainstorm like crazy, think of some ideas to solve some problems or to make life more fun, and see what you can come up with. Happy creating!